look at the budget from a bipartisan perspective, or more importantly, a nonpartisan perspective, uh, you see that revenues do need to come up. We're pulling in roughly 15, 16 percent of GDP, uh, but expenses are, are 25, 26 percent of GDP. This we are having a spending problem. When you look at soaking the rich, this is something I love to talk about. Um, if Mr. Buffett and Mr. Gates are the two of the wealthiest people in the world, their collective net worth is about $100 billion. So put things into context. If Buffett and Gates were to write a check to the U.S. federal government for their entire net worth, we'd have October covered. So who are we going to go to for November? Let's, well, let's think about the Forbes 400. <clears throat> let's confiscate the wealth of the entire Forbes 400. We might balance the budget for 2012. Then what are we going to do in 2013? Right, but I don't think anybody's talking about confiscating hey, the entire I mean, so you wealth. You have of those to put people. it in a perspective. But you've got to do both, don't you? you I have mean, to is do there both. a way to not raise revenues at all, as the Republicans say, no new taxes whatsoever, no increases, and only cut? It's. It is. I mean, look, you could do that, uh, but it, what's the what's the right mix, right? The right mix is very simple. You have to raise some revenue, but it can't just be from the rich. The point I'm trying to make is, it just doesn't matter. If you took all of their money, you couldn't even balance it for a year.